everybody this is my snail tank but well, it's not a stank it isn't a tank but it's a storage box it's it is big it looks it looks small on camera but it's massive in real life so um, there's going to be more decoration i've made little tunnels let me see if i can get inside of the tunnel uh that's there these are the snails but these snails these are garden snails but i'm gonna get but african land snails on the way so i'll be putting them in here i've i've got branches i've i put um i've got them today well i got them yesterday night and i put them in the freezer We're, um, it's gonna sit in there for about two one and a half days to get all the bugs out and yeah so the the uh, branches are probably gonna go like this and probably like that or something like a like an arch and the african land snails can like crawl across and these little guys let's see if you can see them these little guys can crawl them they're emitting some really bad smell <laughs> it's all right so um if you're wondering why the show looks really nice it's because um i give them calcium all the time and also this is the spray bottle it's not the best one, but it's just, it works, it works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it works. So, yeah. The, the water bottle that I'm using is a Verve, Verve, I don't even know how to say that. A Verve water bottle and the plants are, I don't even know where I got them from. I don't know, but. Let's see if they can crawl a bit, and they're a bit, they're a bit, they're a bit flimsy. But it's all right if they want to climb on it, or if, for example, they are babies. Because I think it was one of these, it was one of these two that had a baby. It's not this is Logan the snail, not them. But I think it's like her, well, the hermaphrodite. So they could be any gender, to be honest. But so in my other tank, it's it's really small. Wait, this isn't the tank. But yeah, but I had a tank keep these little guys in um and i um so one of them was was inside of the mud like it was like probably that like somewhere here but not in this tank and he was just chilling so i, so I um picked him out and then there was a whole trail of eggs like just hanging down so he was pregnant but i did the wrong thing i released the eggs back into the wild and i had loads of these guys and um, i think they're like called um what are they called um what's the breed what's the breed called um i know i know what the breed is but i just can't remember it <laughs> so yeah loads of these fat ones well they're not fat but you know what i mean yeah or well, i shouldn't off can release them back into the world because once you have them out of captivity once you've kept them in captivity for I don't know, probably like three days, couple of days, you cannot bring them back to the world unless you quarantine them. Because if you let them back outside in this garden, or they'll probably start wandering off, and then they'll um, just give diseases to other animals, and you should not do that. But I'm so stupid. I should have released them. And if you want to know what that happened, I need to get them some new lettuce, bro. That is literally going mental damn I mean, i'm starting to eat the problem i should have done something to distress them because i literally just picked them up put them into this new tank which i should have and the fiber well you know the substrate that i'm using is called cocoa fiber cocoa fiber is really really good or oh, cocoa fiber i don't know what is that i've got like a bit of a chef accent but you know what i mean so yeah this is cocoa fiber and these little like little bits that like this is right let me see if I can just focus. This is crushed up eggshells into a powder. Um, in my next video, I will show all of you how to make crushed up eggshells. Pretty easy. It probably takes about five minutes. I don't even know. It's quite quick and easy. That you need to keep. You need to grind it up. Yeah. So it's a bit foggy in the tank because, like, you know. Oh, I have a lid. Please put in my comments if you think that I should, if I should, um, if I should get a bigger lid. So this is the lid that I'm using. It came with the box, but uh, I would uh, put in the comments what guess like guess what I used to 
make like make holes in this because it's the most craziest thing ever and it bites it obviously that's a bit disgusting but yeah so um, if you have oh look at this look how cute this is oh they're going on each other's shoes that is so cute um oh the water i'm going to clean that out <laughs> it's only been a day but it ate each second that is when you have snails right these little snails, it can go to mischief. Like this is this is where I've been. This is where I've I tried putting them inside. Well, obviously I wouldn't force the snails to go inside, but yeah. And also, can anyone ask me why did he keep going on top of the lid? Is it like humidity, humidity reasons, or is it just the soil? Because this is a secret that no person with reptiles snails tells you cocoa fiber is actually really acidity as i always struggle with this word acidity acid <laughs> acidic tea uh, right acidity I, 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 like like acid like it's too acidy like, oh my god i'm so stupid so mix egg crushed up eggshells into the cocoa fiber like i said early on because this can lower the pH. What well, I'm saying the wrong went what? I'm saying the wrong words. So it would it would lower them the acid levels. Like you know, it's not acid, obviously. Otherwise the the cells would be struggling right now. Um. Yeah, and um, this is gonna be the first time I have African lamb cells because I've just had um. Oh, um, I, I I just remembered the name Corno Aspersum. As Aspersum, corneo aspersum. This is a um, common gun cell. Can be white, different shell colors. Look at them like the June, June. I'm so cool, right? Yeah. So these guys, they can lay eggs quick. So snails, yeah, all snails can lay eggs really, really quick. And it doesn't matter what gender you put them in, because like I said earlier, they're hermaphrodites. So if you want to keep two. Sna snails or two african land snails never ever ever what am i talking about never release them back into the wild well if you're in the united states do not and anywhere in the world where well, it depends on what your state rules are i'm I, i'm i'm not in the right i can't say what you can and can't do but that's just the rules um in england you can't but probably in like places like i don't know I don't, I don't actually know. I don't think you can release any, to be honest. I don't think you can release any snail or look at this little Amazon forest kind of, Amazon forest, like, kind of, like, area here, like, little, like, ooh, look, it's, like, like, water, like, it's like a movie. Oh, God. <laughs> these are those trails. I, I actually kind of love these. These are really nice. And there's a fat one here, so then the fat African land cells can do whatever they want inside. <laughs> So, if you want to give me any tips, literally, I love tips. Some people hate, like, don't give me tips. Like, I put, like, with horse and stuff. I absolutely love tips. If you, don't give me tips, I'll be upset. So, if you think in any of the videos that I'm doing anything wrong, please comment. Please comment, because, I, like, I know the basics, obviously. I know how to look after a snail, but you know i might not be as good as you as keeping reptile well this is the, no i don't even think this is a reptile like what is this crazy air right yeah so if you wonder what this is this is just some horse but i'm going off topic so yeah please comment or anything i would love that i need to stop saying the same thing repeatedly so this i've really got it from ikea this i got it from ikea that i got it from ikea because this is part of the same thing and uh, the soil in like deepness is like really deep well it's not deep but it's all right well it's it's not as deep there but you know what i mean yeah <laughs> so yeah i'll see you in the next video make sure to like and subscribe and please comment i'll see you in the next video bye